Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss logistic regression algorithm in machine learning with a simple solved example. In the previous video, I have discussed linear regression and polynomial regression with a simple solved examples. Linear regression model is used whenever we want to predict the numerical responses. That is, uh, if the dependent variable is of type numerical or continuous, in such cases, we will use either linear regression or polynomial regression model. But if the response variable is of type uh, categorical in nature, then we cannot use a linear regression model. If uh, the dependent variable is of type categorical, such kind of problems are called as classification problems. And th these kind of problems can be solved with the help of uh, logistic regression. And this uh, classification problem should be of binary in nature. That is, uh, if the class or the target variable contains two possibilities, then we can use the logistic regression. If we have more than two possibilities in classification or the target, then we cannot use logistic regression. Before we proceed with the logistic regression, we will consider uh, some of the classification problems. Uh, let us say that uh, we want to predict whether the given mail is uh, spam or not spam. In this case, uh, the class is uh, binary in nature. Hence, we can use the logistic regression over here. The second example is uh, whether the student should be admitted or he should not be admitted based on the entrance examination marks. In this case also, there are two possibilities are there, whether the student should be admitted or not admitted. Again, we have two possibilities, hence we can use logistic regression here. In the third example, whether the student will pass or fail in the examination based on the marks secured, that can be predicted uh, with the help of logistic regression because we have only two possibilities here. Now the next question comes in front of us is how the logistic regression algorithm works. To understand uh, the logistic regression algorithm, we will consider one example. Let us assume that uh, the organization wants to determine an employee's salary increase based on the performance. That is uh, what should be the hike given to that employee based on his performance. If you want to know this particular salary hike, what we can do over here is we can use a linear regression algorithm. That is, uh, we will plot the employee rating against uh, the salary hike. The employee rating is independent variable here and the salary hike is a dependent variable. So once you plot this particular point, we need to find a line which will fit to this particular given data with the help of linear regression model. Once you get this particular linear regression model, based on this particular employee rating, we can easily get the salary hike here. For example, uh, let us say that the employee rating is 1, he will get around 5% of, uh, we can say that salary hike here. If the employee rating is uh, 3 over here, he will get around 15% of uh, salary hike. If it is, uh, we can say that 4 over here, he may get around 20% uh, or uh, 17 or 18% salary hike and so on. But uh, let us assume that the organization wants to know whether employee should be given promotion or should not be given promotion. So in this case, we have only two possibilities, whether the promotion should be given or promotion should not be given. In such cases, uh, the linear regression model uh, won't help to solve such kind of problems. So here we need something called as uh, the sigmoid curve or also called as the S curve, which looks something like this. So based on the employee rating, we want to find the probability of getting promotion here. In this case, we are going to find the probability of getting promotion. And based on that particular thing, we will decide whether the employee should be given promotion or should not be given promotion over here. Let us say that we will calculate the probability. The probability will be always in the range of 0 to 1 over here. The calculated probability is uh, uh, 0. So in such cases, uh, what happens over here is uh, the person uh, may not be given promotion over here. And if the calculated probability is 1, the pro person will be given uh, promotion for sure. Now, we cannot uh, get 0 and 1 all the time. There is a possibility that for this particular person, the person with the employee rating 3, the we can say that uh, probability of getting promotion is around, you can say that 0 0.30 or 35 or something like that. Now, what, what will happen here? Whether the person will be given a promotion or it will not be given a promotion. The same thing happened with respect to this also. Let us say that 4 and if you go and draw this particular thing, the probability of getting promotion is 0.75 here. Again, whether it will be given or not, that's a question. As I said earlier, if the pr probability of getting promotion is 0, 
he will not be given promotion if it is one for sure the promotion will be given but what about these two things or for what about the values in between 0 to 1 in such cases we need something called as threshold over here based on this particular threshold we will decide whether the promotion should be given or not let us assume that the threshold is 0.5 if the calculated probability that is the probability of getting promotion is greater than 0.5 the person will be given promotion or will not be given promotion over here for this particular person with the employee rating 3 will not be given promotion because it is less than 0.5 over here for this particular person with the employee rating 4 will be given promotion because his probability of getting promotion is 0.75 in this case so this is how the logistic regression algorithm works over here so what we need to do is we need to draw this particular sigma curve given that particular data set and based on that particular uh, probability, we have to decide whether uh, the new example should be classified into one class or another class in this particular case over here. Now, we will try to understand the mathematical concept behind uh, the logistic uh, regression. To understand the mathematical concept, uh, first we will try to understand odds of success. The odds of success is always equivalent to probability of an event happening divided by probability of an event not happening let us say that the probability of an event happening is p then probability of an event happening not happening is 1 minus p over here so that can be written something like this now what will be the possibilities of uh, odds of success here is the probability will be always in the range of uh, 0 to 1 if it is equal to 0 0 divided by anything is 0 so the probab uh, odds of success is equal to 0 in this case if probability is equal to 1 1 divided by 1 minus 1 that will be 1 divided by 0 anything divided by 0 is infinity odds of success will become infinity in that case so the odds of success will go from 0 to infinity because the probability will always be there in the range of 0 to 1 in this case we will consider one more uh, equation over here that is the straight line equation uh, th this is the straight line equation as and when the x increases the value of uh, y increases based on this particular you can say that beta 0 and beta 1 here beta 0 is the intercept and beta 1 is the coefficient of x over here now this is how the equation for straight line looks like now what we do over here is uh, if you want to know the odds of success uh, we need to take the logarithm of this particular thing so for that reason what i will do here is i will take the logarithm on the left hand side of this one that is uh, the odds of success the logarithm of uh, p divided by 1 minus p according to this particular diagram i want to know probability of this particular x over here happening of x and then we will get the value of this particular y over here so that is the reason Pro logarithm of probability of x divided by 1 minus probability of x is equal to y over here so that will be the case and y is known to us that is beta 0 plus beta 1 multiplied by x over here so the equation can be written something like this log of p of x divided by 1 minus p of x that is uh, probability of happening of x divided by probability of not happening of x which is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x over here now again this particular formula doesn't look so quite easy to solve so what we do over here is we will take exponential on both the sides over here so e raised to ln of this particular term which is equal to e raised to this particular term over here now we know one uh, standard formula that is e raised to ln of x is always equal to x over here so in this case e raised to ln of this term is equal to this particular term over here which is equal to e raised to beta 0 plus beta 1 x over here again this particular thing cannot be solved so easily so what we do over here is uh, we will set this particular thing is equal to y over here so that is what i have written here and uh, what we do here is uh, if i take e raised to beta 0 plus beta 1 x is equal to y now uh, left hand side we have p of x divided by 1 minus p of x which is equal to y so this is how actually we will get the equation now we will try to solve this one we will take this on the right hand side it will look something like this and then we will multiply it inside we will get y minus y of px we will take this one on the left hand side it will look something like this now we will take p of x outside we will get p of x 1 into 1 plus y is equal to y over here so probability of x is equal to y divided by 1 plus y over here so probability of x is equal to we need to replace this particular y by this one so we will get probability of x is equal to e raised to beta 0 plus uh, beta 1 x divided by 1 plus e raised to beta 0 plus beta 1 x over here 
Now we need to uh, simplify this particular term uh, one more time. What we do over here is so we will divide the numerator and denominator by numerator over here. So this will be again the same term, whatever we have on the numerator e raised to beta 0 and all divided by this particular e raised to beta 0. We can say that beta 0 plus uh, beta 1 x here, the same thing will come over here also. That is e raised to, uh, this one is beta 0 plus beta 1 x over here. Now this particular term and this one will get cancelled. We will get what is that called as 1 on the numerator here and denominator 1 divided by this term plus this divided by this term. So this one and this one will get cancelled on the second one but 1 divided by this one that is e raised to beta 0 plus uh, beta 1 x. That is nothing but e raised to minus beta 0 plus beta 1 x and uh, e raised to beta 0 beta 1 x divided by this one is nothing but what? 1 over here. So that is nothing but p of x is equal to 1 over here. This one I have written it here. e raised to minus beta 0 plus beta 1 x. This is nothing but the sigma term over here. So because this is a sigma term, we will definitely get the S shaped curve or it is also called as the uh, sigma curve over here. And once you get this particular sigma curve, based on this particular uh, independent variable, we can easily predict the dependent variable over here. Now to understand this particular uh, logistic regression, uh, we will take one uh, numerical example. Let us assume that we have been given uh, the student data set, uh, that is historic data set, uh, who are selected or not selected uh, in this particular case. What is given to us is uh, the beta 0 value is given and beta 1 value is given. Also the x value is given over here. So given this particular x, we need to compute uh, whether that particular student will be selected or will not be selected over here. So we know the equation for that particular logistic regression that is p of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus beta 0 plus beta 1 x. Beta 0 is known to us, beta 1 is known to us, x is known to us. So first we will solve this particular term that will become 481 over here. The meaning of this one is p of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus 481 and if you solve this particular thing you will get 0.44 over here. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to decide whether that particular person will be selected or not selected. So for that reason, we need to know the threshold. Assume that the threshold is equal to 0.5. The calculated probability is less than 0.5. The meaning of this one is with the marks 60, the person or a student will not be selected for in the entrance examination over here. So this is a simple uh, uh, decision we can make based on the calculated probability as well as the threshold over here. In this video, I have discussed what is the difference between linear and the logistic regression. Also, I have solved a numerical example and discussed how to make a decision based on the calculated probability as well as the threshold over here. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.